You unlock it, fog lights come on, and right now, passenger side's on, driver side is not. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that, and I'm gonna show you guys how. What's up guys, this is Richard Z06. Today, we're gonna be doing a headlight install, or fog light. Um, gone ahead and uh, bought the bulb already. It's a 9145 size. Um, basically, the issue that happens is You unlock it, fog lights come on, and right now, passenger side's on, driver side is not. So we're going to go ahead and fix that, and I'm going to show you guys how. So first things first, we're going to get it jacked up. Um, it's a little low right now, so I have some uh, wood blocks to put it up on. And then, go ahead and jack up the car. Here are the wood blocks that I use, they're just straight 2x4s. Uh, nothing, nothing cool. We'll put them for each tire. Just enough to get that piece of wood under there. Put the car back down. Go to the other side, same thing. One thing guys, you do want to check that your park brake is pulled and the car is in first gear so it won't roll away. So all we have to do is get it high enough where the uh, wheel can come off so we can get to some of the plastic panels underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys where I jacked it up from. You can see the subframe, front subframe right here. And you can see how I just jacked it up from the subframe. No harm right there. It's just a matter of getting it up high enough where you can get onto the subframe. You do not want to jack it up from the radiator support right there. That is very frail aluminum. So don't do that. All right. Back it up here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and grab some tools. Got my impact gun right here. I use a Craftsman. Come over here. Have some tools. A lot of them are Pittsburgh. Don't hate on it, guys. It works. <laughs> Alright, so we need a 19 for the wheel. And we're going to need a stubby extension so that reaches. I'm not going to say Harbor Freight stuff is the best quality. As you can see, I have uh, broken an extension here. However, They've been working for me for a while, and I got, got no issue with them. So, so tool, turn it over here. All right, we're gonna raise this car up a little bit more so we can get the jack stand underneath it. Always set your jack stand, guys. That's set. Let's go ahead and get this all set up. Let's pull this wheel off.
kind of seems like a little bit of a pain in the ass. Kind of seems like a little bit of a pain in the ass to uh, just remove the wheel in order to get the fog light. But as you can see, the fog light sits right here. And where we need to get into it is from back here. Um, underneath, as you can see, there is no room for you to get your hand even underneath there. I tried it, it didn't work out. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull this panel off. Basically, you got some bolts right here along this edge. You got some going in along that edge. I think you guys can see that very well. <laughs> um, and then you have some underneath. So I'm just going to go ahead and knock all those out and pull the panel out. bolts along this side. You can already see the panel starting to be able to manip be manipulated a little bit. And we got a couple plastic clips. You guys a little bit of walk around of what is inside here as you can see there is a brake duct right here that pulls from the front from underneath and it will pull to right there uh, you have your marker light up here in the corner um, and most of all you have your fog which actually seems to be disconnected so this may be much easier than I thought just gonna go ahead. You can find the connector. Oh, there's a connector. Okay, that's uh, that's plugged in. It's kind of my bad on uh, not connecting it the first time around. I actually pulled the motor out of this car, so the front bumper was off. Everything was disconnected. So that must have been oversight on my part. Let's go ahead, grab the keys. See if we can uh, 
Get that driver's side to show up. Hey, there it is. We got both sides, both corner markers. Actually, this corner marker is not illuminating. I am not sure why. May be burnt out. Let's go ahead and click that again. Check the rear ones. We got rear tail lights, which are extremely tinted, by the way. I, I bought the car with these tinted already. I'm not particularly happy about it. But rear marker, tail lights are all working. And we actually might be missing some license plate lights. Figure that out later. So Marty is my puppy, which is pretty cute. Um, so that's good. That's, that's excellent. So this marker light, they just need bulb replacement, and we'll see. All right, guys, welcome to the Duramax. This is my uh, daily. Um, we are on our way to uh, AutoZone. We're gonna go ahead and return. We're gonna return these uh, this fog light bulb, and we're gonna swap it out for uh, the amber uh, parking light bulb. All right, guys. So AutoZone's over there. We're gonna go exchange these for these. All right, guys. We are back from AutoZone. Good to go. Let's get back to the house. All right. So go ahead and uh, sorry, I already replaced the uh, light. It's already in there. Uh, the little socket, basically, you just wedge it in there, and then it's like a little rubber stopper with a uh, lock on the end of it. So basically, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the panel back on, put the wheel back on, and call it a day. Let's get you guys a good view. While you're in here, you may as well just check uh, brake pad thickness. You can do that by looking right here. Um, grab a flashlight. So check the brake pad thickness. You can kind of look this area right here. It's where the thickness be checked. Front looks okay. I know the uh, rear actually needs to be replaced, so I'll be doing that in a future video. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this wheel back on. When you're putting on these lugs, always thread them in by hand first. Then you can use whatever uh, impact tool of your choice. Just to uh, make sure you don't strip any threads. circle just for good measure. Alright, that is that. Let's uh, lift the car up. The jack Make sure both pieces of wood are underneath still. Make sure there's nothing underneath and get caught. being said, 
is another video, Rich Z06. This is the Z06. And that is Marty. Say hi, Marty. So we'll see you next time.